Are you tired of constantly putting off important tasks? Or do you find yourself scrolling through social media instead of doing something productive? I know procrastination can be a frustrating and overwhelming habit to break, but don't worry. In this video I'll give you some strategies and tips that will help you to overcome it. They will help you stay focused, increase your productivity and finally start getting things done. So if you're ready to kick procrastination and start achieving your goals, keep watching. So the first tip to actually get rid of the procrastination is to break the tasks you have to do into smaller steps. Because one of the reasons we procrastinate to do something is because this task seems way too overwhelming. And in order to combat this, uh, you can actually break it down into a smaller and way more manageable steps. And this will feel it less daunting and will actually help you get started. The second thing you should do is you should actually set clear goals and deadlines. Because when you don't have a clear goal or a deadline, you're always like, oh, I can always do that tomorrow or the next week. Uh, there's no rush. It's okay. And when you don't really know what you want to achieve, you can never actually start doing the work that you actually need to do in order to achieve your goal. The third technique is to use time management way eff more effectively, because that way it will help you to stay more focused and productive. For example, the technique Pomodoro uh, is where you work for a set of period of time and then you take a short break, which helps you to stay on track and avoid distractions. The most common way to use that technique is when you choose a task you want to complete, then set a timer for 25 minutes and begin working on the task. And after this time is up, you take a five minute break and then you can do whatever you want. I'd recommend you not to start just scrolling on your phone, checking social media, but doing something different, something productive, which will get your mind off of this actual work that you've been doing. Now, there's another thing that this may interrupt your flow state, which is actually way worse. So depending on the task that you actually have to and want to do, uh, you should actually, before that, decide what kind of tasks is it and is it better to have a break from time to time or to actually keep working until you finish what you've started with the help of the flow state that you get into. The fourth step is pretty simple. It is to eliminate distractions because all distractions like social media, notifications or even the email will make it difficult for you to concentrate and to actually get things done. So maybe try putting your phone on silent or it's even better if you put it in another room. And sometimes you could, if you want, try to use apps that block distracting websites. And the final step, which is really actually powerful, and I'd recommend you to do it, is to get an accountability partner. I've talked about this in my previous videos, but when you have someone that holds you accountable, it's a powerful motivator. So for example, find a friend or if you're working, you could find a coworker who can check in on your progress and provide you encouragement and support. So that way you feel way more motivated and you actually want to complete that task and you won't want to disappoint him. So this is going to be for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you liked it and if this helped you. And see you in tomorrow's episode.